now let's talk uh, a little bit more about uh, an specialized issue which we call cash discounts what are cash discounts for example we made a sale to our credit customer and we gave some trade discount on the spot due to better negotiation of customer or bargaining power of the customer we gave some trade discount after this whatever is amount receivable customer need to settle that within the credit period credit period can be for 30 days 15 days if customer pay with after the credit period he need to pay amount that is receivable but sometimes we give extra discount to our customer for example instead of 30 days if you pay within 15 days you will get extra discount of 10 percent this is what cash discount early payment discount or settlement discount now let me make up an example here hundred dollar sale and customer expected to take up five percent discount what will be the situation here our sales is hundred dollar out of this customer will take trade discount of five percent so hundred into five percent five dollar how much is the amount receivable from this credit customer hundred minus five ninety five dollar now the thing is we also offer a settlement discount of 10 percent for example or cash discount of 10 percent what is the condition of cash discount normal credit period is for 30 days but if customer pays in 15 days they will be eligible for this cash discount now today what entry I'm going to make first today now I need to think how to record this transaction because trade discount anyway I have to record this trade discount and receivable is $95 but the thing is this further cash discount let me write down here this further cash discount here cash discount is how much 10 percent so 95 into 10 percent this will be almost ten dollar if we round it and if customer pay within 15 days then we will receive cash from customer how much 95 minus 10 86 dollar now I will be receiving 85 or 86 dollars if customer pay within 15 days But if customer pay after 15 days or in next 30 days, then I will be expecting to receive $95. Now the question is, today when I want to record this transaction, should I record this cash discount or not? Why? Because this cash discount today is conditional. I don't know whether customer will pay me within 15 days and receive the cash discount or customer will pay after normal 30 days and will not get the cash discount how to record this there are two different methods to record this transaction one is called net method other is called gross method what is net method net methods say that you need to record the transaction with this assumption that customer accepts the cash discount customer will get the cash discount so if customer take the cash discount how much cash I will be expecting to receive $86 so what will happen I will record the transaction account receivable debit with net amount after cash discount $86 and sales or income will be credit with $86 now after this two situation may happen customer actually accepts the discount after 15 days or 10 days for example then I find out customer actually accepts the discount what how customer pay me pay me back within 10 days for example 
Now, if customer actually accept the discount, how will record the transaction? Cash debit $86 and account receivable is no more account receivable. So it will get credit with $86. Simple and straightforward. But when I was recording this transaction, I was making assumption because of the net method that customer will accept the discount and customer actually accepted. But what if I recorded this transaction of $86 that I'm expecting to receive $86 because customer will accept the discount. But actually, in actual, customer did not take up discount. Customer say, okay, I do not want to take up the discount. I will make the normal payment. Now, how much cash customer have to pay? If customer does not take up the cash discount, customer has to pay me $95. So I will record here. After 30 days, I will record when customer will pay cash debit $95. Now, how much is the account receivable? I recorded under the net method $86. This account receivable will get credit. No more account receivable. It will get credit with 95. Now, oh sorry. How much is the account receivable we recorded? 86. So here I need to get credit 86. Now debit is 95, credit is 86. Here credit side is short with how much amount? 95 minus 86 with extra $9. This $9 is the amount of cash discount. Now customer didn't take up the cash discount. So how I will report this $9? I will say this is my further credit sale to my customer. So credit sale will get credit with further $9. If I add up these two, now I'm getting $95 exactly equal to the cash. So if I'm using net method, I will make this entry. If customer accept the discount, I will make normal entry. If customer didn't take up the discount and make payment, let's say after um, 30 days, then cash, obviously, I will not be receiving 86. I will be receiving 95 because $10 or $9 was a cash discount. So this cash I need to debit. Account receivable, I actually recorded for 86. So I, will, I can only credit 86. And this credit sale, I will record here as $9. Why credit sale? It means customer didn't take up the cash discount. So it's like I made an additional sale to the credit customer. So this is the entry we need to make under the net method. Now let's work around the gross method. How gross method will work? Gross method, the basic assumption is that customer will not take up the cash discount. This is our assumption. So without cash discount, how much we are expecting to receive? $95. So we will say account receivable debit with how much? $95. And sales will be credit with gross amount before cash discount, $95. Now again, two situation may happen. Customer actually accepts the payment or customer actually didn't take up the discount. Now how to report it? If customer actually accepts the discount, and pay within 15 days. So obviously he deserve to get the discount. So he will be paying me how much cash after the discount 86. So cash will be debit with $86 first thing. Account receivable no more account. How much account receivable I recorded 95. I will credit this account receivable will be credit with how much amount 95 because this is what I actually recorded under the gross method. Now again if we see debit side is shorter here. Debit is 86, credit is 95. How much short? 95 minus 86. This is $9. This is the amount of cash discount. Now what does it mean? That I recorded the total amount of our account receivable with an assumption that customer will not take a discount. 
but actually he take up the discount when i am giving discount to my customer so i will say cash discount is what whenever i am giving cash discount to my customer it's an expense for me expense by nature debit when i give the discount it will increase and debit increase debit so cash discount will get debit with nine dollar now if we add up these two we will get exactly 95 dollar now, if I recorded under the gross method, this double entry, and customer didn't take up the discount, which was my assumption, then normal transaction, customer will pay me after 30 days and he will pay me the gross amount. So I will say cash debit with $95 and account receivable credit with $95, the same gross amount. No adjustment is required. So if you use net method, your assumption is customer accept the discount. If he actually accept the discount, normal entry, otherwise adjustment. And same goes for the gross method. So I hope you are clear with the difference between the cash discount treatment, how we can use net method and how we can use the gross method. I hope you are clear with both of these methods.